Oh, I think I did in my speech. I made it very clear that I feel the Labour Party isn't being very ambitious uh, and uh, setting a very low bar. Um, we've got a very distinctive alternative position, whether it's on our internationalism, where I talked about our commitment to restoring Britain's support for um, overseas aid to 0.7 per cent, which the Liberal Democrats had enshrined in law in the past. Uh, I talked about our commitment to political reform, of doing politics differently. These are things that Labour Party just aren't doing. Well, let's call a spade a spade, though, because the last coalition you did almost destroyed your party. Can you categorically rule out, then, that you would go into coalition, you would prop up a Labour government if they're just short of winning next time? Look, Liberal Democrats are very focused on beating Conservative MPs at the next election. I want to get rid of this discredited government that's, 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 that's ruining... Well, we also want to... Uh, we think we can beat one Labour MP in Sheffield and uh, Sheffield Hallam. But uh, let's be clear what our top objective is, what we think we can actually deliver. And that's beating a lot of Conservative MPs. And uh, I think people want us to do that. Uh, this Conservative government is ruining our NHS. It's not helping people who are struggling with the cost of living. And it's allowing things like the water companies to pour their filthy sewage mm. into our rivers. Yeah, so whether you know, it's on the economy, on the NHS or the environment, Liberal yeah. Democrats are campaigning hard. You can't rule out categorically, can you, a coalition to prop up a Labour government if that gets rid of the Tories. You, you actually wouldn't mind that, would you? What I've noticed in recent campaigning is how Labour are uh, copying Liberal Democrats. You know, we were the first party to argue for a windfall tax on the oil and gas giants to get some money to be able to give people a cut in the energy bills, and then Labour copied it. So, Ed, I'm going to have one more chance at this, because you haven't answered my question. So I can only conclude that a coalition with Labour is a theoretical possibility. Liberal Democrats have ruled out any packs or deals with the Labour Party. I couldn't have been clearer than that. We are focused on winning as many seats at the next election, uh, mostly against Conservatives, some against the SNP, possibly one or two against Labour. You know, I am very keen to get a huge number of Liberal Democrat MPs in the House of Commons. Uh, I think our country needs that liberal voice. You set out two areas where you were distinct from Labour, which was international aid and the uh, voting reform. Um, I put to you another potential area, which is the EU. Um, a lot of people voting Lib Dem just don't understand why you can't countenance at some point in the future rejoining the EU. Why, why can't you? Well, Liberal Democrats are a pro-European party. We believe in greater cooperation with our uh, friends and neighbours. Uh, and we've been really disappointed by uh, the way the Conservatives and indeed Labour Party have not been more ambitious on that. Yeah, but you're not pledging to rejoin the EU at some point in the future. Can't you even put that in the table on the horizon in the dim and distant future? Well, um, I believe in practical politics. And at the moment, uh, not surprisingly, because of the damage done to our country and our, uh, our relationship, our international standing by the Conservatives, we need to be realistic and build back those uh, relationships and that trust, which is so lacking at the moment, mm. whether it's on the economy and trade, whether it's on crime and security, whether it's on climate change, so many areas where international cooperation is the answer. Liberal Democrats are internationalists by instinct. And so we want to work with other countries, whether it's dealing with poverty, whether it's on security, or improving the prosperity of our country. Yeah. Those are traditional British values, and the Conservatives have forgotten them. So, Ed Davey, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.